Vibras. Because we know the Vibras. Welcome back to another episode of the You Know the Vibras podcast. I'm the one and only Wanda Don. And as always, I'm accompanied by Michael Carrasco. What up? What up? What's going on, man? What's going on? Hey, man. Nice shirt there, buddy. Hey, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You already know what it is. Uh, this, uh, what is that? What is that? So it says uh, the new brand. It's the new brand. This is one of the samples. Uh, decided to rock it out today. You know, okay. used, to, used, used to show it out a little bit. Not a lot mm-hmm. of people have okay, seen nice. it. So, yeah. Looks clean, man. Appreciate it. Oh, appreciate and talking it. about shirts, uh, before we get into the episode real quick, um, what's going on, guys? We have still have yet to, you know, get close to 1K and the merch is the, the mock up is already, you know, ready per se um so we're just waiting on you guys to get us there to a thousand subs so we could drop this merch and you guys can get a hold of it it's it looking really clean just to put it out there so yes sir i agree 100 get us to a thousand subs man we are only let me check we're not that far we are only we, ha- we, we haven't we 73 followers away let's run it up nah, we're almost there pretty much i think i think that math is wrong bro yeah we're at 837 173. Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah, 173. Nah, hold up, bro. Oh, no, no, 163. 163. There we go. 163. There we go. There you go. There you go. I was 10 short. But yeah, yeah, 163 followers away. Uh, You know, make sure you guys are subscribing. If you're watching us, you know, every week and you haven't subscribed yet, just go ahead and subscribe. You know, help us out. And like we said, once we hit 1,000, we're going to release the merch. We have a couple cool stuff for you guys. Uh, and, yeah, we're just going to go from there. Get us to 1,000. Facts. Hey, man, that's facts. Get us to 1,000. We're almost there. Just hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. And if uh, you have any friends that do watch the podcast that you have told them about, um, have them subscribe as well. That way we can get closer to that 1K and we can drop the merch for you guys. Um, yes, but sir. continuing, man, what's new? What's new? Man? What's uh, anything new in your life? I see that we both finally got haircuts. We were looking yeah. really homeless on the podcast. It wasn't looking good for us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I got a haircut, <laughs> but because he trimmed some of the top. He had to pick it out, and my hair is a mess, so I put a hat back on uh, just because of time and purposes. But Word. apart from that, man, <laughs> I just uh, just been chilling, been a pretty chill uh, week. Uh, you know, just relaxing, honestly, been working on, on the brand. Finally, finally got the designs finalized uh, for the first drop, uh, working on also the merch and, you know, the whole experience that we're going to provide for you guys once that's that's drop um yeah apart from that just pretty chill week man how about you um i'll tell you the same i'd say the same um you know been you know doing the same things i've been doing the past couple weeks not gonna Mm -hmm. lie uh and slowly you know been trying to find new ways that we can improve the podcast and and bring content um anxious for the cold weather to be gone you know so we can get you know out there in the public and do some uh different type of content that you guys have seen here in the past but you know in different cities now that we have it to our um reach you know right so be on the lookout you know the vibras on the street might be coming soon once the weather you know gets to be on our on our side (laughs) but um yeah that's the only thing man and like i said i've been in the gym uh, you know, going hard. Um, just gotta clean up the diet a little bit and be disciplined. Not gonna lie. Nah, I agree that way, on that. You know, I agree on that. It's like you go to the gym and you feel like you want to have a nice meal. You feel me after to you know yeah. treat yourself and also put the gains. But when you already have the gains, you kind of want to lose the gains. So it's like, damn. Right. <laughs> you it's, know what I mean? Weird. Like you want to you want to eat clean. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's hard to explain, but now everything has been good though, man. Can't complain. Cannot complain. Finally got a haircut. Was looking rough, uh, and yeah, now the confidence is back up a little bit. That's right. That's <laughs> but now right. continuing, man. Um, let's get into the quote of the day that you have for us, uh, and yeah, go from there. Yeah, this was supposed to be last week quote, but we didn't do it. Uh, but today's quote is brought to you by Wayne Dyer, who was a uh, American author, and the quote says, "If change, wait, if <laughs> I don't know what I wrote down, <laughs> so I'm messing, I'm messing. 
change the way you look at things. If you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Man, you rusty, man. Yeah, man. See, see, that this so is what wait, happened when you throw me off it, my bro. routine. If you change, if you change you the way you look at things, the things that you look at change. Let us stick in for it a little bit okay. before I explain it. So essentially, it's saying once you start looking at things in your life differently, the outcome will change. Let's say if you start looking at things that you may think are negatives, but you start looking at at it at a uh, on a positive way, then you're gonna receive positive things from that. Right. Well, I think that that falls under, you know, the saying of uh, take out take out a positive out of every negative. Because if you look at it, if you look at the negatives in a positive way, mm -hmm. uh, you know, you could see the the good things, you know, behind them. Like for instance, say something like a negative thing had happened to you, but you take out a positive in it, you you kind of see why it came at this time of your life and and how you know you could. Uh, you know, bounce back from it, you know? Right. So I feel like uh, looking at life that way um, and not that, and that quote, you know, that way, I think is definitely a good thing. Um, and I think it's something that's valuable to, uh, you know, look at life positive. Although we, we can't say that and be, you know, how can I say this? We can't say that because a lot of people sometimes go through certain situations that we don't know, you know, what they're going through. That is and true. Sometimes as well. you say, "Oh, yeah, look at look at the positive." But the, you know, there's probably not much positive there, mm -hmm. um, which which is kind of like a a tricky situation. But you know, just know that things do get better if you if you do stay positive. That's a, a basically how we can say that. In my opinion, that's right. That's right. I agree, hundred <sighs> percent. Yes, sir. Um, but continuing, um, I have an interesting conversation that I wanted to talk about. Uh, <laughs> I kind of wanted to talk about it sooner, um, because I haven't seen much people talking about it, but mm -hmm. shout out to bro. I forgot his name. I ran into bro, uh, a couple days ago in downtown and, uh, he, he presented me this thing. Uh, so, so in February, middle of February, let me pull up an exact date here for you guys. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, guys. This is like literally on the spot. Uh, okay. Uh, we're almost there. Okay. February 27th. There's a group, a song group, I think, it, uh, or they're like a musician group. I don't know how you want to call them, but they're called Gorillas, right? Mm -hmm. They dropped a song with Bad Bunny mm -hmm. on February 20th. In fact, he was part of their album, Low Key. And uh, the song has done numbers since, right? But in talking to to the uh, my boy uh, about the situation, he presented something to me that I was like, "Whoa!" So there's some some weird. Uh, how can I? There's an interesting situation. Not weird. There's an interesting situation going on with Bad Bunny. Uh, <laughs> this is funny. So if you look up San Benito on Apple Music, there's gonna be like four songs on there that have been posted from Bad Bunny himself. Hmm. Um, he posted a drill song not too long ago, but he has just, I just looked at it today. He has deleted it sometime last week, uh, like mid February, um, late February, I'd say like from the 25th around the 24th, he had posted a song called one, uh, 120 Bugatti, like 120 Bugatti was the name of the song. Right. And in this song, Bad Bunny says the following. It's a drill song, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. He said, Te juro que me iba a retirar. I swear I told you guys I was going to retire. Pero si vieran el contrato que acabo de filmar. But if I told you guys the contract that I just finished signing or agreeing to. Si digo el número, me voy viral. If I tell you the number, I'm going to go viral. Pero no voy a frontear, but I'm not gonna like uh front. Was, yeah, you say? Yeah. Like, I'm not I'm not gonna front. I'm not gonna show off the yeah. number. Like you know, what I'm saying I'm not gonna be a show off. So let me break this down. So Bad Bunny is a guy that moves very militant. You mm -hmm. know, what I'm saying how he does things. He does things very low key. 
he does things that he makes his fans guess, you know, like he has, there has been trends where he tell the fans he's going to retire and he drops the album or he says he's going to retire this year. He goes and does something else. He has just always been playing mind games with fans, right? right. Throughout his career. What I want to get to with this is it has been rumored um, that Bad Bunny is going to make a name change. Mm. He's going to go by the new name of San Benito. Hmm. Uh, Bad Bunny's name. Uh, this is so Benito is, is his name, right? He goes by, well, right. he goes by Bad Bunny, but, uh, his real name is, uh, let's see. It's, um, Benito Antonio Martinez Ocasio. And, uh, if you look on Twitter, he has changed his name to San Benito, his user. And Instagram, a couple of days back, he had like erased everything and had left one picture. So there has been rumors that, you know, it's, it's in the works of Bad Bunny making a full name change and being one of the only few artists that at their peak does this thing and still is successful. Um, you know, it's something that's very interesting um, if it, it does, it you know, if it does go through. And I think Bad Bunny is the only is one of the only few artists that could you know do a name change and still be successful um if you look at the name and he has got a lot of backlash from you know many people about the name people you know don't quite understand the name or people just don't think the name falls you know under his image it's just a lot of things people that are not hispanic you know whatever you just hear the name and automatically think the worst right right so that might be a reason but i think that and I'm speaking just from, you know, thoughts, you know, that I'm having. Um, I, I think that someone had ownership to that name, like, say, the person he signed that contract to or that contract with, like, before this new contract. I think they have rights to the name and maybe he wants to or they have a certain percentage to the name. Who knows? And now he wants to start fresh and have this name change and, you know, you know, have more income. Who knows? There's a ton of things that are happening. Um there has been a, a couple of artists that have done this before that have changed their names mid-career, like Kanye changed his name to just Ye, I believe. Right, right. Uh, I think uh, uh, Biggie, I think he was the Notorious B.I.G. or something like that. He changed it mm -hmm. to Biggie Smalls or vice versa. Mm -hmm. um, or no, he, the Biggie Smalls came became the Notorious B.I.G. I think Snoop Dogg as well. Right. There has been artists that, that have done this before. Um, but I just think it's interesting that if it does fall through, that Bad Bunny would be the only artist to, well, at his peak, you know, because yeah. he's at the top of the world right now. The only artist at his peak to to be able to do such a thing. Um, yeah. What do you think about this, man? I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy, especially like you say, he's at his peak. Everybody, you, you say Bad Bunny, everybody recognizes Bad Bunny. Uh I'm curious to see if it affects the number at first. Hmm. That's what I'm curious to see. Um, because let's say if you, you're you trying to find a song, you're going to try to look up Bad Bunny. And if it's, I mean, I'm assuming the like the old songs will still be under Bad Bunny. I'm not. No, 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 no. Yeah. So, so yeah, don't take it the wrong way. Bad Bunny is still going to be a channel and still have the songs. San Benito is going to be, a new, like a fresh new slate, like a, a whole new artist, literally. Gosh, he's changing dude. his look. He's changing his look. Um, like if mm. you, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna send you the picture. Uh, I'm gonna send you the picture. If you see, he has like he's going by like this, his classic look, like his, his true self, like curly hair, mustache. Like you know, he's uh, just gonna have this whole complete. Gosh, you, gosh, you like like. Yeah. So how, how do I put it? Mm -hmm. Like uh. Like trap Bad Bunny, like when he first started. Yeah, he so so he's going well. Yeah, well when he first started, he had the bald head or like the the infamous like V, like the mm -hmm. widow's peak. Um, uh, he had that look, but he he his flow is going back to the old Bad Bunny. Um, if you see if you look up San Benito, he had like I said, he deleted 120 Bugatti, but I'm sure you can find it elsewhere. And I think the reason that he did delete it because he's he has heard these rumors of people catching on to him, you know, potentially doing this. And he's a guy that doesn't like people knowing what he does or who he records with this or that. Right. Um but there is a song still on there. Uh I gotta find it for you. 
it's uh, still on San Benito on and Apple Music, um, and uh, it's called Contigo. And people have said that this song is an old song and it just you know re-released or something, but it does have that old Bad Bunny baby, you know that old, yeah, <laughs> that old Bad Bunny, like yeah, 2016, 2017, Bad yeah, 2016. Bunny. Yeah, 2016. So, damn, let's touch on that real quick. The I feel like, and the uh, I feel like in Latin America, or mm-hmm. whatever, the trap scene, the Latin trap scene in 2016 and 2017 was undefeated. It was like, crazy. It, it was, was crazy. crazy. The amount of collaborations. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'd say Bad Bunny, Brian Myers was the most craziest duo. Like whatever they dropped right. was a hit. And then we had Anuel on one side as well mm-hmm. doing his thing. You know, we had, you know, all these guys coming up, like, and they all were dropping, like, fire. Like, I feel like. Yeah. And the collapse 2016, 2017. During that time, because you had, you had Tempo, who who was making songs with almost everybody. Same thing. Arcángel was doing the same thing. I feel like that. that Arcángel Arcángel was the one that that did uh, make Bad Bunny, uh, if you know, if we're being. No, that that yeah, is true. Continue, sorry. No, do not be bad. See, was that one? Song? Yeah, that was. I feel like that was the song that took Bad Bunny to where he. Well, I wouldn't say take him where he is right now, but started mm-hmm. that that snowball effect. Faruko was doing good Faruko at that time was, too. Yeah, uh, Alex Rose, Bright mm-hmm. Thiago. That's a bunch of them. You know what um, I mean? There's a bunch of them, dog. Like Casper. Oh Casper, Neil, all of them guys. But it's, but yeah, man, like this is go, go ahead, go ahead, my phone. Now I was gonna say, like, it's crazy how it only takes a couple years for how music transitions. Like twenty six, mm-hmm. I would say 2016, 2018, we had like Latin trap like going crazy. Osuna, Almighty, then yeah. Osuna was. As he was, he was, he was the biggest. I, I feel I, like he was the biggest of them out of all of them. Honestly, at that time, I thought personally, Osuna was gonna be what Bad Bunny is right now, because he was just more versatile with you know the vocals, the the nice vocals. You know, he could do a yes. trap, he could do like a a commercial song. Like he mm-hmm. he was very versatile. You know what I mean? I thought he was gonna be uh, what Bad Bunny is today. And right. Osuna, he still got his. You know, his. I mean, his, he still his, got uh, it. He still got it. I mean, but he's he, not. He's not at that level, though. Right. He. He. I feel he could have gone bigger if it would. Um, but I don't know. It's just something that something about Bob Bunny's personality that I feel it makes him more more relatable. And then mm-hmm. the arsenal music that he has, like he has, he can he can throw you a like a street trap song. Then he can go commercial mm-hmm. and and. Produce a song that that's gonna go crazy at a club, right? I feel Not like right, that's bro, that's man. the difference. Facts. And then also I, his I think, performances. I think, I think that year. Oh yeah, yeah. His, his performances. He just he's he's an innovator, bro. You know what I mean? He's an innovator in everything he does, bro. Right, right. You know what I mean? He he just he's different, bro. I don't know. But this is gonna be wild if it does become true. This whole uh, name switch. I'm trying to find. I'm trying to send you the the picture of how he's look. How he's gonna do this. Uh, how he's gonna switch his uh look. But but yeah. But um, I think this would be nuts, man. I genuinely think this would be crazy if he does do this. Um, like I said, this is rumors. Mm-hmm. But it kind of makes sense if there's a new contract signed. Right. Um, it could be a potential a potential thing to look at, and uh, right. You know right. to see as a. a as something that that might happen, you know what I mean? Um, That's right. I don't know, bro. That's right. But I'm trying to. And okay, then I sent it to you in the chat here. I think. Yes, I use I just pulled it up. Man, that's crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. One yeah. thing, one thing that I do want to bring up, and I and I saw this, uh, you know, just going through the internet. So apparently, Bad Bunny's contract. I think he signed with uh, Sony. Is that who he signed with? I'm not sure. I'm not gonna lie. You you'd know more than me. Uh, but he he signed to one of the big uh, big record labels, and unlike every other artist, where the 
the record label takes all the money. So it's usually like a, let's say like a 80, 20 split where the record label getting 80%, the artist gets 20%. And, you know, according to what I read is by Bunny's contract is the other way around. He, he's actually getting the majority. So, uh, the contract of the leverage, exactly. His contract is 90, 10 split. He getting 90%. And then the record label taking the 10%. That's the which, new contract? That was uh, that was his most recent contract. Okay. Yeah, well, because I think the new one hasn't got disclosed yet. Right? Yeah. That's why there's this whole controversy. And um, which is crazy yeah. because it, it really doesn't happen like that. And I feel like he knows how to leverage his his popularity. Mm-hmm. And I feel like that's something that a lot of, a lot of new new artists gotta gotta learn. You gotta be able to leverage, um, you know, the projects that you have done. Be able to leverage how you can benefit the record label. Facts, I agree. Um, I got a question uh, for the people mm-hmm. real quick before we continue. Um, if you had to choose between Bad Bunnies, two Bad Bunnies, um, who would you choose? 2016, 2017 Bad Bunny with the widow's peak and the and the the glasses. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Or 2023 Bad Bunny, curly hair, un verano sin ti Bad Bunny. This is going to be some controversial stuff, and I'm curious to know which Bad Bunny you guys prefer. Let us know in the comments. Uh, you know, 2016, 2017 Bad Bunny or 2023 Bad Bunny. Let us know. That's going to be, you know, something that I'm curious. But (laughs) staying on Bad Bunny before we move on. Mm -hmm. Another reason I think, uh, you know, I don't know. This is Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny has been moving really weird right now. He's like been going out with various women like publicly. Mm -hmm. And uh, recently, I don't know how true it is. There's another rumor of Bad Bunny in the dating world of him dating Kendall Jenner. Mm. They have supposedly been seen in public. Um, this is something that I'm afraid a little bit of Bad Bunny because, you know, there's a Kardashian curse with yeah, artists or celebrities. Yeah. Uh, but I, I don't know. Do you think they match? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, maybe personality wise, who knows? But then again, you know, I can't I can't really speak on that because if you think about it, what we know about like the celebrities we follow, we only know what they want us to know. Right. So, you know, usually most of the time, you know, the, the public stuff that they put out is usually a persona. So I I can't really say whether they are compatible or will be Mm -hmm. a good couple because I don't know them on a personal level. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Well, you know, all you I know, I know all the Bad Bunny fan girls are are heated about this. <laughs> you know what I mean? I know y'all are heated. Uh, let us know in the comments how you guys feel about this new uh, relationship, if it's true, between Bad Bunny and Kendall Jenner. Um, but yeah, I'm, that's pretty much all I have to say about Bad Bunny. Oh, or San Benito. Who San knows? Benito, we'll who see knows? how how this uh, how this you know develops. But uh, that's all I had to say about the topic. Uh, I felt like it was something really you know, that I was shocked about when I heard about it. Right. And it just made sense. Like going, whenever you guys get a chance, there's still a couple songs on Apple music. I think there's three songs of San Benito. Um, but if you could find the 120 Bugatti, which was his latest song under San Benito, 2023 single, which was the drill song. He listened to it and you're going to be like, Whoa, this might be something mm-hmm. that I could see happen. Cause when I heard that, I was like, Whoa, he's talking about, I told you guys I was going to retire. Psych. I'm San Benito now. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. damn, you feel me? Right, right. So it's kind of like mind games. Like I was saying earlier, he, he's he's kind of retiring the name. The name, but right. But still not but retiring artistically. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. You feel me? So I think it makes sense. But who knows? Yeah. Um, we'll I do. see how this, how this, how this. Yeah, go ahead. No. Yeah, yeah. Like like you were saying, we will see how it plays out. But I do, I do want to ask this. Do you think artists use the whole, oh, I'm retiring as a way to 
pick more interest from from the fans because I don't know if you remember a couple of years ago, I may all do the same thing. He yeah. said, I'm retired. I'm not doing any music. And then guess what he does? Yeah. Drops us a whole album. Yeah. Um, but Anuel's situation is a little bit more trickier. Uh, mm-hmm. For those who are not Latin American listeners, Anuel Double A, Anuel Double A is uh, another trap artist in Latin America from Puerto Rico. Huge artist. Um, but yeah, his case was different, I'd say, because he went through a huge breakup. Right. And, uh, you know, he just felt like the whole world was crashing on him and uh nothing was going his way so i kind of understood why he could you know hint at retirement because he was just going through it mentally Mm -hmm. um but i do think that a lot of artists uh do have you know their own marketing schemes which like that um you know the retirement speech or the retirement uh pitch sorry is a way to boost their you know their their clicks and boost their you know engagement um, so I do think that's something that we have seen, but like I mentioned earlier, Bad Bunny is just his own specimen when it comes to marketing and he knows how to play with his, uh, supporters, uh, minds and, uh, get them to stay engaged with him throughout the year, which is something that has, has, you know, has really never been seen before with right. the tactics that he, he gets people with. And, uh, also, you know, he, he also had a weird trend of like, not weird. I keep saying weird. Then. But he had this trend of like dropping songs, like romantic songs that have been hits on Valentine's Day. But for the past couple of years, he hasn't been doing that due to him replacing it with albums. So. Right. What well, so, was that yeah, one so song that was big? Thing, uh, I forgot the name of the song. You know, you know which one I'm talking about? No, 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 no. It was the one. Uh, I'm more fi- Hold on. You, you uh, know exactly. Yeah. I'm yeah. All, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that one, that one, that yeah. thing was huge. No quiero que nadie me hable de amor. Yeah, Bro, that thing was yeah. huge when it came out. But yeah, nice. yeah, let let us know what you guys think about you know this possible name change for Bad Bunny, aka San Benito. I, I'm definitely curious to see how it's going to play out. Um, so yeah, let let us know what you guys think. Do you guys think if it's the right move? Yeah. Do you guys think if this is the right move, would it benefit his career? Would or would it, you know, take it will he take a big hit on his career due to the name change? Facts. Also let us know. Um, do you have anything else to say about that uh today or in general? Uh I did want to ask you something. Okay. Uh, but nah, go ahead, go gonna ahead. Be... I'm just going to quickly say, nah, before nah, you can continue, you're going to say that, but I yeah. just want to say really quick, if you guys want us to keep breaking down any music, uh, current events or anything, let us know. We can continue putting down a podcast, but yeah, go ahead. Yeah. And then the next one is going to be a, a, a sport current event. So yeah, you're right. I forgot. Uh, last weekend, actually a week from today, last Sunday, the Jake Paul took his first loss. Yes. Now I know this is something we we all we all been been wanting to see, but it's the first time that he quote unquote fights an actual boxer. Mm-hmm. I, I just want to I just right. want to hear for your point of view. How would this affect him going on, and do you think he can overcome that loss? Um, so before I do go ahead and answer that, sorry, Bad Bunny, for putting Jake Paul in the same yeah. episode as you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah. it is current event that we would do want to touch because it is kind of relevant. Um, um, but yeah, so uh, Jake Paul, man, I think this loss, uh, it was definitely an eye opener since it went to the decision. I, I mm-hmm. thought it was gonna go to towards him, not because I thought he won, but because you know there, there's he always had the been popularity. a controversy between yeah. popularity and also you know, the main promotion buys the fight. You know what I mean? So right. there's always been that, that weird thing. But when I realized that it wasn't that way, we're hearing the scores. I was like, Whoa, this could be true. So yeah, I was so relieved when he lost. Um, I was happy in a way as well. Cause I was just tired of, you know, seeing this, this jokester, man, you know, right. Making fun of the sport. Uh, and I think that now his future, um, you know, it's just going to be him fighting, you know, either old, retired, former combat sports athletes, fighters, or 
you're sticking to the YouTube route and fighting other YouTubers, content creators, music mm -hmm. uh, artists, stuff like that. So I think, yeah, I think his professional career is definitely over since he's been exposed. But uh, by by a by a I'd say a mediocre fighter, you know what That's I mean? Right. A mediocre pro boxer. That's right. So I mean, imagine if he fights a true, true, you know, prospect. Like it would be, you know what I mean? So I think his career is over, and uh, yeah, I'm glad it is. That's all I had to say. <laughs> I mean, I feel I feel like for for me, the way I look at it is okay. You fought a real boxer. You prove that you can stay stay on your feet. You can take a couple of punches. But what I want to see is if he really claims that he's a real boxer, now after this loss will be the perfect time for him to transition into actually fighting boxers. You, that he doesn't have to go all the way to the top, to the top, you know, top tier fighters, but he can build that resume. He fought Tommy Fury, like you said, He's not the, the greatest boxer, and he's actually only been boxing for a couple of years with, I think this was his 10th or 11th fight. But now I feel if Jake Paul really wants to take boxing serious, this will be the perfect time to transition and decide what class he wants to go in. For him, his, his weight, I would say, you know, cruiser weight. I feel like he he can be successful in that division, and you start mm -hmm. picking up, you know, start from the bottom, mm -hmm. start from the bottom, build yeah. your way up, and then if you really want to, he wants to get a championship, he can go ahead and do that. Facts. Also, really quick before we finish, um, there has been another comeback in in sports. Uh, John Jones recently mm -hmm. defeated uh, Cyril Gaon his comeback and he defeated him in like under like 30 seconds which was nuts Ooh. so he's arguably now like the goat um he moved up to heavyweight which is something that had never been before right. seen and submitted a true heavyweight and, and uh he just cemented seconds. his legacy wow exactly that's crazy uh he just cemented his legacy and he he pulled like this was the most popular pay-per-view i think of the year so far having the likes of like tom brady um all these people, McGregor, all these people were in attendance to watch this and, and they witnessed, you know, history. Greatness, yeah. But yeah. Um, yeah, man, I think that was a, you know, dope episode really quick. You know, wanted to, you know, keep it under, you know, a certain time so you guys could get the information quick and just think about like, wow, this could be nuts if this happens. Right. Uh, like we said in the past, like we said earlier in the episode, let us know how you feel about the potential name change for Bad Bunny. And uh, also let us know. Um, if we should continue, you know, staying in the music uh, scene on the podcast and, you know, bringing current events to you guys, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you comment something about the episode. Hit that subscribe button. Get us closer to 1K so we could drop that fresh merch. Yes, you know sir. I mean? So, yeah. Yes, sir. And then but one yeah. thing, one thing before, before we close it out, we've been trying to do this comment of the day. But nobody's commenting. Oh, yeah. So make sure, you know, leave us a fun comment, you know, something inspirational that you want other people to comment know. of the week. Comment yeah, of the comment week. of the week. Coming of the week. Yeah. Uh, you know, just comment something positive, something that you want to get off your chest, something that you want to tell us <laughs> or something you want everybody else to to you know to hear. So make sure you guys are commenting. Uh and like you like we said, we'll we'll have that segment we just haven't had Feature. any comments um in the last couple of videos but we've really been trying to do it so make sure you guys comment as well thanks yeah very short episode you guys make sure you do everything like, like michael said those steps comment something positive so we can you know highlight it in the following episode and give you guys a shout out um but yeah like we say as always make sure you hit that like button comment and as always remember to subscribe and let's, let's vibe, vibe. Peace. Como le pasa? Peace. Que Dios me lo bendiga.